Well chanting his name, his mahamantra, with the beats given by Guru, at the time he finishes and one should not be inattentive. He should fix his mind on Krishna, you understand. That means when we instruct, chant sixteen nouns, minimum, daily, with these beats, this chanting should be done very carefully, with much attention, putting your attention on Krishna. The mind is naturally fluctuating, oscillating. It's natural. So in order to complete our, our rounds, we sometimes become inattentive and chant how to complete the rounds. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, completing the rounds. So this is offensive. You know how to complete this. It's offensive. Mind is fluctuating, mind is going here and there, and your chat, chanting going this, this, this way, mind is going that way. That is offensive. This is an offense. One should not do this. So one who has this nature, whose mind is very fluctuating, fleeting, oscillating, he should be very careful to finish the rounds as far as possible early morning, Brahma Mukhurta. Period, that is 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. That is very suitable time. This time mind will not fluctuate so much. It will very easily concentrate. At other times of the day it must fluctuate because during that time most people have not got up from bed. No other vibration has come to the atmosphere. Atmosphere is very calm. So one can very easily concentrate his mind at that time, Dhamma Mojo, between 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., very congenial period. As far as possible, complete many rounds, as many rounds as you can, then you will not commit such offense. The rest of the rounds you may complete when all have gone to bed, when it is a calm atmosphere. No other thought will enter into the mind. So complete it and then go to bed. This is an easy way. This noon time, midday, 10 a.m., 11, 2 p.m., very difficult. So this is an easy way to complete your rounds as far as possible during that period, Brahma Murta, 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. You will feel very nice at that time. If you can chant nicely that day, you feel very nice. And you can very easily face Maya and counteract, otherwise you feel very uneasy. Maya will overcome you. This is a fact. One should not commit this offense. Another thing is there. I want to add to it. If at first, while chanting Hare Krishna, one cannot concentrate on the form of Krishna, it is wiser to chant before deities in the temple. Look at the deities and chant so that you can very easily concentrate. Or chant before the photograph of Radha and Krishna and chant in the association of sadhu. These are the processes. So that your mind will not fluctuate. This should be done and when by this practice mind will become fixed and you have developed test for Harinam because Harinam is so sweet. So nectarian. Ah. So nectarian, so sweet, Madhurya Harina. Ah, when you taste that sweetness, ah, your mind is fixed. Mm. So then you are in a safe position. Such persons can chant in any place, any time, because the mind is fixed. He is never disturbed by outward noise or anything. But as long as you have not achieved this stage, you should be very careful and you should do like this. Uh, this is Rama Mahutta period. 